Eddie Bauer Films. What to say if you were to meet Steve Carell? Oh, the ham's done. Put a Forkner in it. <laughs> I love Faulkner's writing. All work and no play make Jack a dull boy. All work and no play make Jack a dull boy. All work and no play make Jack a dull boy. This is the POV of that creepy guy she's going to have to report to HR. I remember that beginning typing class as if it were yesterday. I was lucky enough to have Miss Purcell as my teacher. She taught us much more than typing. She was teaching us to get along in the business world, and typing was only a part of it. All right, class, stop the typing, gateway. please. Before we go on with the next exercise, I'd like to make one of my little speeches. This oh, is boy. your first course in preparing for a job. paid now? Job. You're starting a new career. It can be fun, or it can be hard. It all depends be on hard. the way you look at it. It's going to be hard. For instance, I could do a better job than her. In an well, don't forget the third one in line. The rule works there just as it does anywhere. Nerd girls, I love them. Treat others as you want to be treated. I like to be Here's humiliated. This will work out great. First, of course, know your job. Enjoy it. But also enjoy the people that you're working with. Be Wait, let me make a list. And be considerate of your employer. Remember those I'm gonna go on welfare. of office etiquette, and you'll get along in the business world. Now then, let's do skill building practice eight. Same margin. Begin typing when ready. A lost art typing. Now for our next course, padding your resume. Quite an impressive military career. It wasn't till I got my first job that I really began to understand some of the things Mr. Mitzi Mitzi Gaynor. <laughs> Let's see, I could never work for a fat, old, balding, sexist fart like... Oh, I... Th right, sorry. Thank you. I see you're a student of Miss Purcell's. We have a number of her former students with us. Her recommendation means a great deal here. I enjoyed being in her classes. You did very well on your test. Now for the That's swimsuit important. competition. <laughs> oh, that would be wonderful, Mr. Arnold. We're a small organization, Miss Spencer. Just me. That getting along with people is pretty important. Do you think you can do that? Oh, yes, I think I can. Fine. We'll see you Monday. I believe your coat's in the outer office? Yes. You can buy it back from the company at four times the price. And thank you. At the company store. I was a little worried about that first job. I guess everybody is. But Miss Purcell's advice kept running through my head. First of all, know your work. Enjoy it. And also enjoy the people that you're working with. Be considerate of Miss Purcell, and be considerate get out of my head! Remember those simple rules of office etiquette, and you'll get along in the business world. Hmm. I planned to get there early that first day. I wore my good suit because it was plain and neat, and seemed just right for an office. I wore my slutty clothes the second day. Who's got a machine gun? Let him have it, she. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Joan Spencer. Oh, yes, Miss Spencer. We're expecting you. Miss Hamilton will be your supervisor, and she's on her way in now. Won't you have a seat? Thank you. Do I have to? How do you do, Miss Spencer? Ready to go to work? I'm looking forward to it, Mr. Arnold. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Hamilton. I enjoyed your play very much. Stenographer and file clerk who's starting this morning. How do you do, Miss Spencer? I understand you're one of Miss Purcell's students. Miss Purcell, Miss Purcell, I have a life of my own. <laughs> I'll show you where to leave your things, and then we can get to work. All right. Well, on to the kill floor. Girls, this is Miss Spencer. 
Please kill us. Miss Hamilton and Mr. Arnold certainly set a good example of courtesy for us to follow. This will be your desk. You'll work here for 30 years and lose your pension. Some of our forms and procedures. Study it a while, and then we'll start you on your first assignment. All right. Forms and procedures? This is off the hook! Uh, sorry, I have IBS. <laughs> The girls took me to lunch that first day. On the set of Westworld. We had oysters and martinis, and I threw up a lot. It looked like it wouldn't be hard to follow part of Miss Purcell's advice. The part about enjoying the people you're working with. They invited me into their bookie operation. A bowling league and typing? Heaven. The part about Know Your Work was a little harder. I did a lot on my own those first few Especially weeks. Especially practic the thing that, that we'll fix that in post. That's a post. <laughs> oh, it's live! <laughs> a long time ago that was. You just saw me crash. It hardly seems possible now there was ever a time when I didn't know those terms. Does she work for Laurel and Hardy? <laughs> I had a lot to learn. Some of it I learned the hard way. Like where the bathroom was. I didn't know for weeks. Thank you, Miss Spencer. I'm neat and clean and don't have OCD. Well, Miss Spencer. Yes, Mr. Kane? This letter that you typed this morning, I believe there was a mistake here. Oh? It doesn't seem to make sense. I can't remember just what word I used there, but I don't think I could have said this. I never oh, say yes, dingleberry. Mr. Kane, but you said I have it right in my book. Well, hmm. suppose I give you this paragraph over again. Suppose I yes, put sir. your pencil in your neck. You... All right. You've been condescending, dude. I mean, what, sir? In view of our current production schedule. I hate my job. I hate my job. Curtail our order. Number 3256. I had made a mistake, of course. Of course. It wasn't anything that Mr. Kane said. But I learned then to admit my mistakes gracefully instead of arguing about them or offering alibis. I learned to ask when I wasn't sure instead of making a wild guess. And I learned not to resent criticism or to brood over it. Yeah, look at her not brood. Since then, I've learned a lot of do's and don'ts about office etiquette by watching the others in the office. Too closely. Oh my God, what has this job done to you? That is an eraser! I learned that Good this spell a short sentence. Be considerate of your employer. Could cover a whole multitude of things. Hmm, even the ink is delicious. One of the most important things, of course, was doing office work during office hours. Yes, this, this is what I'm into. I'm into this. This is my thing. I like this kind of stuff. How dare any of you judge me? That little office tubing. Yeah, back to work. <laughs> Fresh as today's headlines. I found that writing personal letters didn't help to get the work done. Wrote a lot of letters. Look at the stack back there. I am trapped in an office. Please help me. Feeling joy is so unprofessional. <laughs> and who do you think we ran into? Joe. I learned that personal telephone calls interfered with business. Oh, I was so mad I could have slapped Thank her. goodness, face. no one does that anymore. No. You wouldn't think she was that kind, would you? By that little cat. I learned that it's only fair to plan your personal <laughs> You're always able to. Oh, no. I've just died at my desk. I'm alive again, pay me. And that means working right up to the end of the day. 
And I learned that a date after work is no reason to break the rule about simple dress in the office. Thank God we have the internet to waste our time on now. I learned, too, the importance of consideration for fellow workers. Thoughtlessness often makes for extra work in the office. Don't! Gilligan, you're blowing me! I learned to mind my own business by watching some who didn't. Mr. Arnold wants to know if the insurance list is ready. It will be in a moment. Wait for it, won't you? Mr. Arnold, my dad. You know you shouldn't do that, Jimmy. Do what? Exist? This guy has takes his dick out at a Zoom meeting written all over him. But most of what I learned came from the people who really know their jobs. The pushers. I learned the importance of neatness and organization and planning work. Even though, decades later, none of it mattered, because you're all going to die. And even though I kept getting more things to take care of... Collating? Can I help? help others, and times when they would return the favor. All these things became even more important when I became Mr. Arnold's secretary. The one his wife doesn't know about. Public relations as well as personnel, so I had plenty to do. I had more contact with people outside the company, and I learned the importance of consideration for them too, and especially courtesy on the telephone. What the, the fuck do you want? Mr. Arnold's office. <laughs> He's in conference just now. This is his secretary. May I help you? The Acme Printing Company. What? Oh, yes. One million dollars? Yes. Ransom? His son? No, that you have him? For 20,000. May we expect it next Tuesday? Or shall we break your legs? Oh, that'll be fine, Mr. Dalmar. Legs, then. Yes, goodbye. I'm here for the James Finlayson audition. My name's Herbert Forbes. I have an appointment with Mr. Arnold. Oh, yes, Mr. Forbes. Mr. Arnold will be with you in a moment. He asks that you fill out this application blank. You may sit at the table over there. I feel it out won't be blank. Hasn't even been hired yet, and he already makes more money than her. Good morning, Mr. Arnold's office. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fulton. He's in conference just now. Yeah, but conference. Glug, glug, glug. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, toppermost of the poppermost. As I look back on it now, it's surprising how often the things Miss Purcell talked about in class apply here in the office. You did very well on your test, Miss Collins, but I suppose that's only to be expected of one of Miss Purcell's students. Bonnie Parker? Does she still make that little speech on office etiquette? Oh, yes. I know it by heart. First, of course, know your work. Enjoy it. Second, hail Hydra. You're working with. Be considerate of them and be considerate of your employer. Yes, sir. Those rules have certainly helped me. I shall always be grateful for them. We'll see you in the morning, then? Yes, I'll be here early. Fine. Another one bites the dust. Couldn't the camera move up a bit so we can see the glass ceiling? Oh, I get it. I'm going to die here. Maybe if I lend the boss the key to my apartment, it'll help me further my career. <laughs>